Last time on Astronomical, we looked at some teeny tiny telescopes that were available for under $100. Now we're getting bigger and better, as well as introducing computerized go-to mounts that will counteract the rotation of our planet and allow us to take long exposure images of the night sky. Which means that today, we're going to see views like this and take images like this, all for under $500. I'm Damon Scotting, and this is Astronomical. This is one of the only times that you'll ever see me use a brand new telescope on this channel. This was the first ever telescope I had. It is the Celestron 114 LCM computerized telescope. I was 15 years old at the time when I used all my savings and my birthday money to buy myself a telescope. And I decided to go for this for one particular reason and that is because it has a go-to function. I'll have a telescope which is a fairly decent size but I'll also be able to type in certain locations and objects that I want it to find and track for me. It's not perfect by any means, uh, go-to setups rarely are. I'd say they struggle to get pinpoint accuracy with a target they're trying to find, so you do have to move it around a little bit. But yeah, they're just, they're a guide and it makes the whole process a lot easier for you to do. So, let's have a look. Ooh la la. Down there. Voila. Right, so we've got a telescope. It is now plugged in. And then upon turning it on, you're greeted by a message that says initializing. And then once that's done, it says LCM ready. Press enter to begin alignment. We then need to insert an eyepiece into it. So in this case, we have a 25 millimeter eyepiece. Press enter to begin alignment. Right, select object. The first one that comes up is Jupiter. And it says center Jupiter. That bright point of light above me is not a star. It is in fact the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter. So we're gonna change the direction, to point towards Jupiter. And then we see Jupiter in a crystal clear focus. And it takes me back to when I was 15 years old looking through his telescope. And it looked the exact same back then as it does now, yeah. The process for achieving this view of Jupiter isn't exactly straightforward. When setting the go-to mount up, you need to give it a lot of information about your whereabouts in order to align it correctly. In terms of setting it up, this can take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. But once successful, you can now roughly locate 40,000 different objects in a night sky with just a few clicks. The question is though, is this view of Jupiter worth almost $500? Because $500 is a lot of money. And what if you are not interested in any fancy go-to features? You just want the most stars for your book. Well, in which case you could go after an eight inch Dobsonian telescope, arguably the largest size telescope you can purchase for under $500. One that is capable of views such as this. Full disclosure, the one I'm showcasing here is the latest Celestron StarSense telescope that enables users to navigate the night sky with the help of their smartphone. The views it can achieve will be very similar to those from other 8-inch telescopes that don't have additional features like this one does, such as the 8-inch Skywatcher Dobsonian Telescope, one of the most popular telescopes ever released. If you have $500 and you want to explore the night sky at your own leisure and see as much as you possibly can with your naked eye, then this is your safest bet. What the Celestron 114 LCM lacks in light gathering capabilities, it makes up for in its motorized tracking features. But what if you want all of it, but still for under $500? What if you want a portable telescope that can precisely find any objects in a night sky with minimal input? And then what if it could do long exposure images with its inbuilt camera? so that you can share the night sky with your family and friends. Well, if that sounds interesting to you, then be prepared to meet astrophotography's latest game changer. This is the revolution of smart telescopes. The thing is, go-to telescopes were considered smart telescopes. They gave you the ability to slew towards any target in their catalog, provided you first input some important details, such as time, location, and a sense of where other objects were in the night sky by aligning your telescope. But these smart telescopes exceed well beyond the usefulness of a stellar tour guide because they require next to no external input whatsoever to precisely pinpoint any object in the night sky. Within three minutes from unpacking your ultra portable smart telescope, you are taking long exposure images of the cosmos. And that is because it is the best pound for pound telescope on the entire market. Nothing else comes close to it. This is the Seastar S50 smart telescope. Each of the telescopes I've shown in this video have their own respective pros and cons. For the 114 LCM, it has go-to capabilities, but it is a tiny reflector telescope that still requires a camera and camera adapter to take images. 
The 8-inch telescope has more than three times the light gathering capabilities of the 114 LCM, and as a result, can produce much clearer images. But alas, it has no go-to functions, and still has the same issue as the 114 LCM in terms of no camera. You can of course use your smartphone to capture the brightest objects in the night sky, but the ultimate goal for every astrophotographer is to be taking long exposure images of our night sky, which is where the Seastar S50 comes in and blows away all of the competition. It can track and precisely pinpoint deep sky targets before then using its special inbuilt duo bandpass filters to bring out as much detail as possible. The inbuilt sensor is what allows it to continue to precisely tracking the motions of our night sky and to capture and stack these images live before your very eyes. It's incredible what it's able to do. But there is of course an elephant in the room. This video is about what you can see with a $500 telescope, not what your camera sensor can pick up. This is the biggest gripe astronomers have with the smart telescope revolution. For many newbies, seeing is believing. The skepticism is rampant when the telescope can produce such incredible images. Images that even with an eight inch telescope, you will really struggle to replicate. The Seastar S50 is really struggling from its own success in the sense that large parts of its audience are struggling to truly believe that these images were produced from such a tiny and cheap setup. So there we go, boiled down to its simplest components, you can see this with a $500 telescope. You can see this with a $500 go-to telescope. And you can't see this with a $500 smart telescope, but you can take images like this, which the other two cannot do unless you introduce a camera and image stacking software, which will undoubtedly push you well over $500. So far in this episode, I've shown you exclusively brand new telescopes. But I am a strong advocator for purchasing used telescopes instead as they promise exceptional views and value for money. A quick eBay search provided these results which are all fantastic value. The largest telescope that I've covered in this video is an 8 inch telescope, but you may even be able to stretch your budget to affording a used 10 inch telescope with some very helpful accessories. In terms of naked eye observing, the 8 inch telescope is the best of the bunch for a $500 budget. You can get that either brand new or used. If you buy used, that will give you a little wiggle room to purchase a camera for your telescope. But if not, you can always stick with your mobile phone camera and achieve some very nice images of the moon. One thing to note though, that no one ever really warned you about, when observing the moon with a telescope of this size, it is practically blinding. You'll see what I mean, there's, there's a reason moon filters are a thing. All right, next time on Astronomical, I'll be showing you what you can see for a $1,000 telescope setup. So stay tuned for that and clear skies. I'm Damon Scotting, and this was Astronomical.